Fifth year for Muschamp. Goes on in his eighth year. Here's a flea flicker on the first play for Auburn, and Nick's throwing it deep. Got Schwartz, but overthrew him. Incomplete. And a big play. Not able to convert there. So Tank Bigsby, the true freshman running back, gets drilled at the point of attack. Conversion rate for opposing offenses. They rush four and third and nine. Nix finds a receiver who's wide open, got behind the defense, pulled in for a first down. And making a beautiful throw. Nix off play action here, and Schwartz couldn't hang on to it. Running back and Tank Bigsby, just got to get the passing game going a little bit. Nix again off play action. And it's complete to Seth Williams, who is their top receiver. He didn't drop anything. Gain of 11 last week. Had two touchdowns in the win over Kentucky week one. Here's Schwartz out in space. And Chad Morris. Picks again to the air. And that pass too long for Shepard Jackson. So I think the mix has been interesting, but it's going to work out for Auburn in the long term. Another pass play here for Nix, although using his feet here, trying to get the first down. And he was able to do it. Boy, a couple Gamecocks go down, and he takes it with his legs. Nix again to the air. And a sliding catch made by Jackson for a gain of eight. Here's Bixby being chased, but gets the first down to the 20-yard line. Pickup of five there. And a capable pass catcher coming out of the backfield. Next, going back to the air, looking for Roberts here. Knocked up into the air and incomplete. Blessing for uh, Auburn. Here's Nix to the air on second and ten. Now he's going to take off and look at sack at the 21-yard line. There's Keir Thomas again. Can South Carolina's defense get off the field? Auburn two for two on third down against that great third down defense. Schwartz trying to get outside and runs out of room. Five of nine for 52 yards passing on his opening drive. The sophomore quarterback throwing on first down here into South Carolina territory is Eli Stowe. Third element of that three-man group at wide receiver is huge for this Auburn offense. So an eight-yard pickup. Nix will throw again, and it's caught for a first down. True freshman, Xavion Caper. Gotta like how in control he is at this moment of the game. 16 play, and on the pitch, Nix setting the block for Stowe, who's inside the 30, and finally brought down inside the 25-yard nice line by Stowe. Damani Staley. Here is Bigsby, trying to cut it to the outside. Breaks a tackle, wow! Bigsby all the way to the 10. Just outside the 10-yard line, Nix fires. Broken up by J.C. Horn. Second and 10 for the Tigers. Here's Nix throwing a fade. Roberts! Incomplete. Starter for South Carolina in corner. Third down and 10. Nix caught. Touchdown, Eli Stowe with his second Eli touchdown Stowe catch of the season. Auburn. Guy in particular, Bo Nix. And now how about this, going for two with true freshman J.J. Pegues running the Wildcat. And he pitches it here to Grant Lloyd, the backup quarterback. Lloyd's pass to the end zone is incomplete. Auburn backed up, Nix from his end zone, rolling to his left, and able to dump it off to Schwartz. And the speedster gets all the way to the 25-yard line. Well, you said in the open, he had to step up today in order for Auburn to win. He's done that without question so far. His pass here, though, off target, going for Williams. Three that you expect a second-year starter to make. It's difficult to expect that type of growth. Nix to the air again. A nice catch by Luke Deal. Going in for Joe Tessitore. He's working on boxing as uh, there's some movement on the right side. Ball start. Offense, number 71, five-yard penalty. Remains third down. On third and 11, Nix in trouble. Escapes. Now Nix throws into traffic, and it's intercepted. There's J.C. Horn again making a play. Auburn going back to the ground game here with Tank Bixby, and he gets planted. They've all been a little bit stunted at this point because of COVID, but it's going to be an exciting player to watch. 
Bixby. Past the 30 yard line. Back down at the 32. Instead, it's a design quarterback run with Nix getting the first down. Good open field tackle. Of the Creating opportunity for the quarterback's legs. Bo Nix, freshman of the year in the SEC a year ago, throws a deep ball here. Jump ball, and it is caught. And there he is, Seth Williams. He is so good with the ball in the air. Here's another pass play. Schwartz couldn't hang on. Dropped it at the 10-yard line. Here's Bixby straight ahead. And Bixby runs through defenders down to the one yard line. The ball came out. It's recovered by Jones, but they're going to rule the running back down at the one yard line. Huge play there for the Auburn offense just a moment ago. First and goal for the Tigers. And Bixby walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Can you call the game now? Are you able to get that I can off focus, your chest? You feel I'll good? Try. I'll All right. try. <laughs> They run it here on first down straight ahead. DJ Williams. Matt, to tell you how, how good or bad Greg was, he couldn't get his own name when we went through the, the draft picks. <laughs> he forgot where he was picked as uh, Bo Nix. Really good so far. Yeah, the one mistake by Nix on the interception. Gets rid of the pass here. And dropped at the 20 yard line. On that South Carolina defense. JC Horn, Joe Horn, Shiloh Sanders, Dion, as Nix. Checks it down here to Williams at the 25-yard line. Gave him a lot of cushion out to the 27. Nix looking. Everybody covered. Takes off. Makes a nice move to get the first down. And then slides. Converting yet again against one of the nation's best third-down defenses. Williams ripped down in the backfield. Keir Thomas again at the line of scrimmage. Patrick, of course, played at Auburn as a quarterback as well. And Patrick coached Bo in high school. Here's Nix rolling out. Long throw that is dropped. That was on target, but Capers could not hang on. As well. Might be a free play here as South Carolina looked offside. The pass is caught, but short of the line to gain. Offside. Defense number 52 in the neutral zone at the snap. Five guard penalty. Replay third down. Third down and five. Knicks from empty. Moving around. Flips it into traffic again. And it's picked off again. Airbrushed, you think? <laughs> Play action here. Nix forced out of the pocket and this time throws it away. So you have to be really smart with the football. Short throw here by Nix. Pulled in by Stove and out of bounds at the 40. On third down, pass is caught by Stove again. Forward. Nix in trouble here, being chased. Runs out of bounds with four seconds left. Casual at any moment, even if you're trying to spike the ball. Nix gets hit and sacked to end the first half. That's how efficient they've been on critical down and distance. Tank Bixby, his eighth carry of the game, and it's a four yard run. Let's check in with Holland. They've been able to get pressure on the quarterback with just those four guys as we see whistles and flags blowing this play dead. Ball's champ trying Before to get snap, above 500. Ball start offense. Not all 11 players were set. Five yard penalty. Second down. Consistent. Big speed trying to get outside. In trouble though. And he is slammed to the ground. Bad decisions and some unfortunate outcomes. There is some movement there as uh, that back shoulder throw is off the left hand of Williams again. Yes. Offside. Defense, number 99, in the neutral zone at the snap, five-yard penalty, replay third down. Again, bottom of your screen, that great matchup, Seth Williams against J.C. Horn. He's looking for Williams, trying to get free. Now he throws for Williams, jump ball incomplete, but a flag, a lot of contact there. 
pass holding play. Defense number one. Ten yard penalty. Also carries an automatic first down. Was it though? I, maybe that was the wrong replay there as uh, Stove has the first down. I mean, maybe it happened earlier. Continue the next 30 minutes. Bixby able to break a tackle down to the 41 yard line. This is really dangerous for that offense. Play fake here for Nix. And that pass thrown behind Stove. Available to you. You want to go for it on four. That's DJ Williams in the backfield. Nix moving outside the pocket. Long throw. And near the first down is Anthony Schwartz. And he, he ends up making a good throw, though, on the sideline. They'll run Williams here up the middle. Runs through defenders for South Carolina. And dogs. First down for Auburn inside the South Carolina 30. They give it to Bigsby. And that's read well by South Carolina. Number 89 at the bottom of the line. We haven't seen a whole lot of him. Let's see if they get him the ball at some point. Nix again moving outside the pocket. And another flag is thrown on Horn. There are two fouls on the play. Inezable downfield, number 65 offense. Pass interference, defense. The fouls will offset. Second down. Quarterback run here for Nix. Nix from the pocket, throws knocked away by Horn and complete. Auburn takes over on its 31 yard line, trailing for the first time today. Nix off play action, that pass deflected at the line. Second and 10 now for the Tigers. Nick's going to run it and runs right into Keir Thomas. Nix's pass is off target, incomplete, trying to hit Capers. Second interception thrown by Hill this season. Bixby kind of stumbles at the line of scrimmage. Second down and seven for Auburn. Nix to the air. And Schwartz going down to make a first down catch today. One play, Bigsby up the gut. The three out to the 34. Schwartz, they were 12 yards off. That's how much they don't want him to get over the top. That's called respect. Here's a pass over the head of Seth Williams. I'd be looking in that direction. Trust my big wide receiver. Play clock is down to two. Snap to Nix. Side arms it, and it's picked off by J.C. Horn, taking it back. With a second interception of the game, J.C. Horn. He's been emotional all day. Nick's keeping it here. He lowers the shoulder. Tension too, so he's got to allow his composure to settle in. Nick's moving to his right here on second down. A lot of contact downfield. So I like that they've gone to this bunch stack and get a little motion. Although they moved Schwartz away from it, now he motions back into that on third down and six. Nix takes off, flag is down, and Nix is short of the line to gain anyway, brought down by Ernest Jones. Holding, offense number 56, 10 yard penalty, replay third down. Trailing by eight as we start the fourth quarter. Nix has sown three picks all on third down. He's going to drop it off underneath here to Williams. And Williams upfield has the first down. Still going. Stiff arming. Deep in South Carolina territory all the way to the 31-yard line. A penalty flag is down back at the 30 of South Carolina. Here is just a Holding. drop off. Offense number 80. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. We play third down. A lot of cushion on third and long. I mean, a 15-yard cushion. Nix in trouble, being chased by Thomas. Throws. It's caught, but short of the line to gain. We're going to start this drive with a run play. Bigsby past the 35, down the sideline, able to break a tackle, and finally knocked out of bounds. As I watch this Auburn offense try to create more separation. Play fake here for Nix, and wide open in the middle of the field is Capers. Down to the 26-yard line. A little differently, where they just go mono e mono press man, and they haven't been getting separation. Big hole for Bigsby inside the 15. Keeps his balance somehow. 
the SEC in all-purpose yards as a first-year player. Now he stumbled that time. D.J. Williams in the game at running back now. Most big J.J. Pegues motioning to the left. Here's Williams getting the carry. Push back at the four-yard line by Zach Pickens. But he has not won that matchup very often today. Knicks rolling left, waiting, directing traffic, and then throws it away. Twelve times, but only four catches today. Knicks to throw on first down, long pass toward the sideline, a diving catch is made. My hand twisted, that's why the ball twisted. So 2-11 on the clock, again, no timeouts. Knicks back to throw, pressure coming. Knicks rolling out, throws it away. Nix in trouble, gets out of there. Nice move at the 40, and Nix tripped up. Completion's underneath. Four-man rush. Nix throwing a deep ball for Schwartz, who beat his man, but the pass was thrown over his head. South Carolina knew very well where he was at on the field, how quickly Charlotte Sanders got there. A flag down, Nix rolling out, throws back across the middle, caught by Stove at the 35 for a first down. Five of South Carolina. Nix looking, long throw to Schwartz, and the pass a little bit low, incomplete. 35 yards away from having that chance. 132 in the clock. Nix bouncing around in the pocket, steps up, takes off. He's got running room. All the way down to the 18-yard line. Great job by Bo Nix. They have some options here. They could run the ball inside the 20 with this time. But Nix will throw. Pass over the middle is caught by Williams. Maybe you can get a quick out route out of bounds. Give you a couple good shots at the end zone. Nix in trouble. Gets hit, runs him in his own guy, gets rid of the ball at the last second. They have not made a ruling yet. Now they're going to say an incomplete pass. Correct. Intentional grounding, number 10. Intentional grounding. Right. The penalty is a loss of down at the spot of the foul. The foul also carries a 10-second runoff. That's a huge penalty. A loss will almost certainly knock him out of SEC West Division title contention. Nick's rolling around trying to make something happen. He's got some green in front of him. Tries to hurdle a defender, gets knocked out of bounds at the 12. He picked up 10 yards. There are nine seconds left. Knicks, time is running out. A flag is down, and Knicks running the ball. He's tackled at the nine. No time left. Let's see what the penalty is, though. Personal foul, answer the face. Offense number 71. The ball carrier is short of the line of the game. 